Good morning, everybody. So I realize that I always, always wear my hair up and it's probably not that good for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start wearing my hair down so you guys are gonna see, start seeing my craziness. Cause my hair is pretty crazy. I just wanted to point that out real quick, but it's like 6 a.m. and I'm not a morning person, especially this early. So I'm having a hard time waking up. But first things first. I am packing my meals from the food that I made yesterday. So we're gonna jump on the road in like 30 minutes. And I'm excited because I get to go to the dentist and hopefully he fixes me up. And then we get to go home for a couple days and I'm gonna drive my Range Rover back here in a couple days. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I don't really know what's to come of it, but I think I am working out shoulders today or possibly glutes, we'll see. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I need some coffee. So really quick, um, I am going to be on low carbs today. Um, just because when I'm on lower carbs, I just feel like it kinda like, it's almost like fasting a little bit because my body gets a little bit hungry and I wake up tighter, um, and so, I just wanna see, um, I'm gonna start seeing how messing with my cal calories really affects my body. Um, I paid attention before and I know that it does affect my body in different ways, but um, I'm actually gonna do it and vlog it and then show you guys and talk to you guys about what happens um, when I carb cycle um, and what the benefits of that are. I'm not a huge carb cycler, but, um, some days I just don't feel like eating as many carbs as the next day, but today what I'm gonna focus on is um, actually eating more fats. So higher fats, lesser carbs. And these things are amazing. I got them at Costco and they actually taste really good because I've had them before. Um, so for me, like more, uh, for me, it's actually hard for me to eat my fats. I don't need a lot of fats. Um, so I do get things that are convenient like this. I'll eat like almonds um, and just like more snack size things because um, when I diet, I tend to stay away from fats um, like a lot. So I actually need to get more fats. And so these are awesome. So I'm gonna take two of these for today. What do you think, Garrett? How are you doing? Is it good? Yes, I did a lot of work. <laughs> Assisting in this. And then when you put it in there, try not to drink anything for about 20 minutes, and then just flush it out of here. So it just kind of sticks there. She fills up the hole with it? Yeah. Is an apple? Mm-mm. Mm. good? <laughs> Is it better so than Costco? Good. Is it better than Costco? I've never been here before. It's so good. The food's so good. Maggie has never been to a mother's, ever. Never, ever. I told her she's gonna die when she walks in there because it's all, like, all organic, everything. So. I get to eat it this time, yes. Mm. The cornbread is good. Yeah. You excited? I'm excited. I'm so excited. What kind of smoothie did you get? Brain power. Brain power? Because I'm going to make me smart. You don't need to be any smarter. 
For real. Maggie, what'd you get? I got mango on mango. Mango on mango? Just mango. <laughs> and then I got goddess of greens. So iced coffee and juice. I'm in heaven, yes. And put some stevia. Okay, you guys, quick update. We got home a little bit ago. Um, and I am at body spec right now and I'm trying to come every two weeks to get my body fat tested So while I'm in town for a couple days, I made sure to make it a priority to come here So hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna see some good progress today. It's been about 17 days So it's been almost two and a half weeks So I just wanted to show you guys something because I thought it was pretty cool So this is five pounds of muscle. Wow, that's heavy five pounds of muscle Versus five pounds of fat a huge difference. Okay, you guys, so the results are in. Body spec, I got my body fat tested 15 days ago. So it said I weighed 118.1 15 days ago. Today I weigh 121 pounds. Normally I would freak out and as a competitor gaining three pounds after two and a half weeks of being perfect on my diet, perfect on my cardio, tracking everything, I would automatically think that I've gained weight and I'm fat. Not that I've gained weight and I'm fat, but I would automatically think I gained weight and it's it, like it must be fat tissue. But in all honesty, I gained 2.7 um, pounds in lean tissue, okay? Now, give or take a little bit, I did gain almost three pounds of muscle in two and a half weeks, which is insane. And I'm very proud of that because I'm a natural athlete and it's extremely hard to do. And um, it says I lost 0.4% body fat. So I lost a half a percent of body fat, which is not that much. But all in all, you guys, I gained three pounds of muscle and I still lost body fat, which is really hard to do. And the old me, Jessica, you know, that didn't get her body fat tested and stuff like that, I would think a hundred, even, even, even my experience in the fitness world, everything. When we jump on the scale and we weigh more, we automatically think one thing. For sure, we gain weight, like in a bad way. We gain fat for sure. But I'm here to tell you guys that weighing more is not necessarily a bad thing. Weighing more is actually, could actually be a good thing if you're tracking it right how I am. I'm going in every two weeks. Um, the next time I come in is probably going to be in the next five weeks because they don't have a body spec in Vegas. So I'll be back in five weeks to see how I'm doing. But all in all, I lost fat and I gain muscle I cannot complain about that at all so I'm in shock I'm in disbelief this is very surprising news to me because I thought for sure oh I'm like gonna be 115 pounds for sure I lost at least three pounds but I don't even know it all you guys so this right here shows that I gained muscle and lost fat we went in, we went in, we went in. Okay, you guys, it is like 10.40 at night. And I was beat today. Monty Hall completely beat me. Um, I was sitting on the couch and I was going back and forth in my mind for like, probably like two hours. And the reason being is because my video was not uploading. It was just taking forever to upload. And I couldn't upload it because I was on the road all day for the um, from Vegas. And then I had errands to run afterwards when we got back home. And I went to the dentist. So I was sitting there waiting for the video to load. And it was taking forever. So I was sitting there and Gigi was laying cuddled next to me. And I was watching Forrest Gump. And I'm super tired. You can literally see it in my eyes like how tired I am. And for about five minutes there, I finally gave up and was like, not stressed anymore. Cause I was like, okay, I'm not going, I'm not going to go to the gym tonight. So I'm over the mental, 
battle and over stressing out over the situation and then I really thought about it and I was only beat for like five minutes and then I said you know I just you have to go to the gym because when my girls watch this video you guys will see that even I get beat sometimes but I still win in the end it's okay to get beat by Monty Hall sometimes just make sure you win and make sure he doesn't win at the end of the day so um, anyway this was the first time in 18 days on prep that I was actually beat and I decided in my mind that I was not gonna come but I'm still here I'm gonna get this freaking workout in because I thought this is gonna throw off my whole week then I'm gonna have to work out on Sunday and I'm not gonna have another rest day for like freaking eight days I'm like I can't do that and plus I need to show you girls that no matter how you feel no matter how tired you are no matter no matter how long of a day you've had I've been up since six this morning that you can still overcome your mental battles every single day so if you're not at the gym you already know I'm gonna tell you get your ass to the gym I'm gonna do some shoulders today then I'm gonna do cardio and I can't even talk properly because I'm so tired I'm literally dragging my words but you guys understand I had so many excuses in my mind some really good ones too I was like just like um, you know you went to the dentist you know your tooth has been hurting you um, you traveled all day today um, there were some really convincing ones. Like, Monty Hall was good today. Monty Hall's been freaking practicing because he got me pretty good today. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna tell YouTube that the doctor told me to take, an e an e to take it easy today. To not work out and to take it easy. <laughs> I was like, I swear. I was like, my mom was trying to convince me that that's what I heard him say. But I really didn't hear him say that. And I was like, I can't lie to you guys. I'm not going to tell you guys that the dentist told me to take it easy. Because he didn't. If I asked, he probably would have told me. But anyway, by the way, my tooth is fine. I didn't have a dry socket. Thank you for everybody that commented and was worried. I also did get my phone back. I don't think I've ever told you guys that. But my tooth is fine. Um, he just gave me like some ointment stuff that I'm supposed to put on there. But I don't have a dry socket. But I was just in a lot of pain. I think it was just because like... I was eating on that side and stuff and so that's probably what happened but I was in a lot of pain you guys so anyway I'm, I'm not gonna keep rambling because it's 10 45 and I'm about to pass out while I'm talking to you guys so if you haven't got to the, the gym get your ass to the gym and I'm gonna go kill this workout and I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel after because it's gonna feel damn good just like it always does
Okay, you guys, so the gym was freaking amazing. It always is so amazing, I swear. I feel like it's maybe just like mainly the mental battle that it takes to actually get to the gym because once you get inside the gym, like it's easy from there. It's just getting to the gym. And today I just proved to myself again that I'm a very strong person and I just continue to push my, myself, my limits, um, and even when I don't think I'm capable of doing something, I still do it anyways because I have to. I have to prove to myself every single day that I am important enough to reach my goals every day because I believe in myself and I'm truly passionate about what I do and nothing no, and nobody, especially Monty Hall, is not going to stop me from reaching any of my goals and I feel like sometimes our worst enemy is ourselves. I feel like that is our worst enemy, is ourselves. Monty Hall's the bad voice and that that true self deep down inside that's always battling you, telling you go, you know you need to go, you gotta do it, you know that's the way you're gonna reach your goals. That voice is the voice that you need to make stronger as an individual. Cause once you make that voice stronger and you stop letting Monty Hall win, you're going to be such a stronger person, not just for yourself, but everybody around you. You're going to be such a happier person. You're going to be a go-getter. You're going to accomplish everything you've ever dreamed of financially, emotionally, physically. So just do it. Stop letting Monty Hall win. Go get your workout in. Push yourself to the limits every day and believe that you can do it. Because if I'm doing it on a daily basis, even the days that I feel defeated, like today for about five minutes I was defeated. But at the end of the day, no one's going to do it for you and you can't keep making excuses for yourself. Because just as, as capable as I am going to the gym and reaching my goals on a daily basis, no matter what it takes, you could do the same exact thing. So, great shoulder workout. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. I think it was no more than an hour. Then I did 30 minutes of cardio, and I am freaking tired. It's 12.35 a.m., but you know what? I'm a boss because I got to the gym, and I did that. Okay. So, tomorrow we head back to Vegas. I did decide to stay in Vegas for the summer, which I'm excited about. I haven't decided if I'm going to drive both my cars there. I think I just might because we're going to be there for like a little over five weeks. So, just a long day tomorrow. More adventures, more everything. So, I can't eat anymore even though I'm hungry right now because I already ate all my calories for the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. If you guys are enjoying this series, let me know. I've been reading all the comments. I check for your guys' comments all the time. So just know that I'm appreciating your guys' support. Me getting a video up every day consists of how engaged you guys are, how, how much feedback I'm getting from you guys, good or bad, um, all of that. So I appreciate all of it. Um, I've also been getting so many requests um, and just really good feedback with Maggie being in my videos and I've seen it from your guys' perspective that you guys see me all the time and maybe you feel like my body is not something that you guys can, you know, reach right away obviously because it's taken me years and years but Maggie's more at a beginner level and you guys will see her transformation by the workouts and the diets that I do so it'll be really cool and, and I see why she's such um she's a, such a good addition to the channel because i didn't think of it that way i was just like maggie let's go to the gym and she's like i swear you guys she gets through every single rep every single workout every single every single exercise every single rep every single set and she just amazes me she's freaking strong mindful i'm like maggie what the heck where have you been all my life you're like my freaking partner in crime man goes jumping off buildings with me and hangs on my freaking workouts and eats everything that i eat i'm like what's going on here so she's just an awesome girl she's only 21 um she's a really hard worker for those of you who ask she actually is garrett's caretaker seven days a week right now and so she's just a really hard worker but um, it just so happens that she's always with us, so um, she just helps me out too at the same time. And we really, you know, try to treat her like part of our family, basically. It's not even like 
I don't even feel like she works for us. I feel like she's my little sister. <laughs> I find things, I'm like, here, Maggie, have this, have that, or come with me. If you jump up the building with me, I'll buy your ticket too. If you <laughs> if you do that ride with me, I'll buy your ticket too. So she's almost become like my younger sister. So I don't know. She's a really good addition to the, just to mine and Garrett's life, you know, because that's just our life. We have to have somebody, like, it's not just me and him. There's always a caretaker with us. Um, so it's something I've had to adapt to. So she, I mean, she just fits right in. But anyway, she's going to be on the channel more. She's an awesome girl. I love her. Um, and she'll be with us all summer in Vegas. So stay tuned for tomorrow's adventures. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. I think we got hammies, but I think we do hammies and glutes tomorrow. So stay tuned. Love you guys. See you guys in the morning for the 20th time because I repeat myself 20 times. Okay, bye.